You know, there's so many major players in the music industry I've never even talked about on this channel. Let's talk about Ava Max. Ava Max broke into the mainstream last year with her big hit Sweet But Psycho, and I say last year, but really it was winter 2018. It didn't break into the mainstream of the US until 2019 but everywhere else basically already had it. Now I've talked about this song multiple times on this channel over the course of different top 20 rankings, but I don't think I've ever made it clear what my final opinion on it is. It's been in every single one of my positive tiers, so it's kind of hard to tell. So let me put this on the record. Sweet But Psycho is decent. I like it in a very similar way I like Stuck With You. I really like the vocals on the song, the production sounds fine even though it's literally a ripoff of something else, and the lyrics are kind of bad. The production's extreme lack of personality actually does detract from the song for me, but it still sounds good enough for me to enjoy it regardless. That being said, Sweet But Psycho is literally just down by Jay Sean. There's no argument to be made that it's not, there's no defense, it is literally just down by Jay Sean. And to be fair, I can think of much worse 2010s hits to rip off, but overall, this song's fine. I don't love it, I don't think it's terrible like some people do, I'm just kind of in the middle on it. But anyways, I liked Sweet But Psycho enough at the time to look into some of Ava Max's other stuff, and whilst I really did not care for most of it, there was one song in particular that made me realize that this was someone worth keeping my eye on. Come here, girl. So this is Makeup by Vice, Jason Derulo, and Ava Max, and from everything I've heard from their careers, none of them have ever topped this and none of them ever will. Let me be abundantly clear here. Makeup is musical perfection and one of the most painfully overlooked singles of the 2010s. This song is pretty much the only reason I still have any faith in Jason Derulo despite the monstrosities he keeps putting out. And Ava Max, oh my god Ava Max. I fucking guarantee, if this had been Ava Max's big hit instead of Sweet But Psycho, there would have been so much more buzz about her. She just oozes personality on this song, and she shows so much more vocal range. Fuck, she does whistle notes on this song. Seriously, this song's fucking incredible. If you haven't heard it, go give it a listen. This song actively had me hyped for the follow-up single. I could not wait to see what Ava Max did next. Do you ever feel like a misfit? Everything inside you is dark and twisted. Ava Max took a very different direction to what I was expecting, and honestly, I should have seen it coming, because as soon as Sweet But Psycho became a smash hit in the US, all I heard about her was she was the new Lady Gaga. And so she released So Am I, which is essentially the Ava Max version of Born This Way. Except, it's also Viva La Vida. I mean, yeah, it's not kind of a carbon copy in the same way that Sweet But Psycho was to Down, but this feels almost worse. On top of that, the song really isn't that well written, and the only real driving force here is Ava Max's voice, which doesn't have any of the personality she displayed on makeup, or even a fraction of what was kind of there on Sweet But Psycho. And it was at this exact moment that I started to worry. With this song came the idea that Ava Max was never really going to truly utilize her voice and personality and just lean into what everyone expected her to be, the next Lady Gaga. But what surprised me was that while So Am I did well in some countries, it was nowhere near the smash hit that Sweet But Psycho was despite all the buzz that that song gave her. From here on out, Ava Max released a fair few singles, all varying in quality but none of them seem to catch on in the same way that Sweet But Psycho did, or even So Am I. I don't really mind that for most of them, since I didn't really care for most of those singles, but Torn really deserved to be a hit. Some of you may remember it from my ineligible honorable mentions last year, and yeah, I still think the song's great. It's not as good as makeup, but the song's fantastic. All of the queens who are fighting alone, baby, you're not dancing on your own. And that brings us to 2020, where you get Kings and Queens, which seems to be her biggest single since Sweet But Psycho and might actually make the Hot 100. Unlike Sweet But Psycho and So Am I, which were just kind of rip-offs, Kings and Queens actually just bases itself around a sample. It's revitalizing melodies from a Bonnie Tyler song, and honestly, I think it does it pretty well. And as for the song as a whole, it's nothing special, but for what it is, I like it. The melodies in this song, interpolated and not, work really well, I like the production, and Ava Max is fine, her performance is nothing special, but it works for what the song's going for. That being said, these lyrics are terrible. Now let me make 
make one thing clear, I don't disagree with the sentiment of this song and actually really love the message. I like the concept, I just hate the execution. I mean, yeah, there is some fun bounce to this song, but it feels like it's trying to take itself seriously and with lyrics like this, it just doesn't work. But anyways, in late July, she released another single as well as the cover art for her debut. This can't be real. This is the album cover? This? Maybe the single will be less embarrassing. Never knew the sting of a stranger. Never felt the word like a razor. Okay, straight off the bat, does this sound familiar to anyone else? I never meant to leave you hurting. I never meant to do the worst thing. Yeah, you guys remember this song, Solo by Clean Bandit and Demi Lovato? Did fairly well, wasn't a big smash or anything, but it was pretty good. I would not be surprised if you didn't remember this song, because frankly, I'd forgotten it existed entirely until I heard Who's Laughing Now. The production here is way too similar, especially that guitar line, except it just sounds worse. Cheaper, to be honest. The production as a whole just feels like there wasn't much effort put in. Ignoring the guitar line, which feels a little more simplified and just kind of limp, the percussion feels absolutely hollow, and the bass line just kind of drones in a very annoying, buzzy way. But hey, is Ava at least delivering a quality performance? So Look, Ava Max can sing, so I have no idea why she's relying so heavily on autotune here. She genuinely sounds auto-generated, and some of these high notes are just so irritating. Which makes absolutely zero sense, considering... She can clearly hit these notes, why does it sound so bad? And oh boy, she is not selling these lyrics well. In this song, Ava Max sings about a bad relationship she was in, and how she's now moved on and how the other guy can't take it. This point's made clear in the chorus, where Ava Max talks about how she's wearing all black to symbolize the death of the relationship because people wear all black at a funeral where they mourn what is lost. Um, Ava, this implies you're not over it. There's a common criticism with these kinds of songs where people are like, hey, if you're really over it, then why are you singing about it? And why are you so annoyed about it? And sometimes I can ignore that whole aspect of the song, but in this song in particular, it's so blatantly obvious that Ava Max is not over it. This whole song is just Ava Max fronting and it actually gets kind of uncomfortable. It's not even just the lyrics, it's how she says things as well. Very clearly not you with the fake laugh. Ava, are you okay? I'm here if you need to talk. And the lack of truth and power in her sentiment is not really helped by the synthesizers on this chorus. They're punchy and overpresent and obnoxious, but that could have worked for the song if Ava matched up to the power of it. As a result, everything sounds unfitting here. You'll never see me blue, never bleeding. Look, I 100% get the idea of you not wanting the person who hurt you to see you vulnerable, but this line completely undercuts any supposed strength any other lyrics gave. The lyrics of this song as a whole just completely miss the point of what the song's going for. This is a song about how good she feels to be moved on, but she sings about wanting closure. One minute Ava's saying that he pushed her to the edge, and the next she's saying that he had no effect on her whatsoever. Writing-wise, this is all over the place, and Ava's absolute inability to sell any of this does not help matters. As for the production, there's not really much to say about the rest of the song, it's mostly samey, but there is this one part which should be good. No. An electric guitar solo is a perfect idea for a song like this, but unfortunately it just sounds so soulless. It really doesn't achieve what it's going for whatsoever, and paired with the dead fake laughter, the desired effect's completely lost. Never mind the fact it's less a solo, more just a melody we've already heard a ton of times throughout the song. All in all, the song's just a disaster across the board. Pretty much every aspect here is underwhelming and does not work for what it's trying to be. This song did have potential, but it utilized none of it, and whilst this isn't as bad as that album cover, it's still pretty awful and I'm very concerned for the album as a whole. That's the end of this video, like, share, subscribe, I'm bad at outros and I'll see you in whatever I do next.